come in. Uh, Simon here, this is Pips. Uh, Pips is my dog and the cat Coco is somewhere no doubt she'll be bothering us soon. But um, yeah, this is my humble abode. Um, normally things like this, you have pristine houses, but with kids it's literally impossible to keep a tidy house. Um, so yeah, this is the kitchen and we're gonna be sat here throughout the course and we're gonna be going through everything. Um, I guess to start things off, uh, we're, if, if, you're, if you're here knowing nothing, you, get, you literally have no idea what, what a crypto is, what blockchain is, great, you're in exactly the right place. We're basically gonna start from absolute scratch and then bring everyone up to the same uh, sort of base level of knowledge. And when I say base level, it is like Everest base camp. It, it, you will go to a pretty high uh, level of knowledge and you'll be able to do everything you need to do in the crypto markets from buying it, selling it, getting your accounts set up, storing your cryptos, uh, absolutely everything. So um, yeah, let's get going. So back in early 2017, I set up the first crypto investing course, uh, mainly because I, I wanted to uh, reclaim some of my time. Uh, pretty much every message, email, WhatsApp, Facebook uh, notification was uh, a question about crypto. So I thought, right, let's get up, a, set up a group. Um, and although it has saved me some time, um, things have actually got worse. <laughs> uh, we're now getting about 300 Facebook notifications uh, a day and about 50 odd personal messages. So this is why I've, I've recently updated um, the, the, the crypto course and we, we've now got some crypto mentors etc so um, the support that you're going to get is going to be way better than what uh, the original early birds got now the first thing we need to go through are the five m's of realistic crypto investing so a lot of people may google i mean any anyone can do 10 hours worth of googling and know a little bit about or know a relative a relatively good chunk of crypto knowledge, but they really won't have a clue of what to do, actually do. Um, you have to imagine that crypto investing is like a, a big iceberg. So the five or 10% that you can see above water is simply the crypto knowledge. But the 95, 90 to 95% of what you cannot see is investing knowledge. Uh, there are so many YouTubers and pretenders and experts and gurus out there who are claiming to be, you know, crypto experts and really they're they're completely flipped the other way around they may have 95 percent crypto knowledge but five percent investing knowledge um, and so when the market eventually pops because in the short term this is a short-term highly speculative bubble uh, and so when this does pop there's going to be millions hundreds of thousands of uh, bloggers and experts um, left butt naked as the tide disappears um, and they won't have a clue of what to do when the market is reversing instead of correcting, uh, which we'll, we'll talk about later. So really a lot of what you're gonna learn, it, yes, you'll learn a lot of crypto knowledge. I mean, you have to, um, but we will also be touching on um, the, the relevant investing type stuff that you need. So the five M's. So first of all, we're gonna start with mechanics. And this is what, really important because before you ever go you go anywhere near um, the whole market you, you really need to understand what you're doing why you're doing it and, and also the bigger picture so you really need to see what's going on behind the scenes so this is going to be quite in depth some, some of it you may be thinking what on earth has this, has this got to do with cryptos but it'll all click into place the next one we then have our markets now obviously um, we're playing with the crypto market, um, but there are many other markets out there and you, you, you're gonna see where the crypto market fits in comparison with the, with the whole picture. And here you will see what to play with, what, what not. Over here, we then have methods. Uh, I haven't really left myself enough room here, so let's do it this way. And this actually is gonna be the biggest section. So this is actually how you, uh, what you're gonna buy, when you're gonna sell, how you're gonna move things around, um, what your different strategies you are, you're going to de deploy, and also the, your portfolio allocation, which is a big, big topic. Um, and it's really, really important whether you're going, you, you, whether you're trying to squeeze the market for every penny, um, or you're going to be a little bit more conservative. So um, it's completely, 
in, uh, dependent on, on you yourself. So that's going to be a good one. <clears throat> then we have mindset. Now, when it comes to trading or, or, and investing, 90% of, of trading and investing is all um, psychology and, and mindset. If you don't have the correct mindset, I know this sounds uh, pretty fluffy and uh, you know woo-woo, uh, but the thing is, you will consistently lose. You could be someone that knows everything uh, and still won't make a penny on the markets because you just haven't got it uh, correctly set in your head why you're doing it. Um, and also how to deal with losses and wh what, what happens when you get into massive profits. Believe it or not, when someone um, who's new to investing all of a sudden comes into shitloads of profit, um, you, you're going to be way more stressed. Uh, I remember the first time I made over 100 grand in a single trade in a day and I was shitting my pants, uh, to be honest. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's because I, I just wasn't prepared for it. I was, I was only used to making five or ten grand per trade or, or whatnot. And then all of a sudden I had this massive windfall and I was like, ooh, what do I do? Um, and then last but not least, we have meltdowns. As I said, in the short term, uh, we are going, uh, this is a bit of a bubble, or I say a bit of a bubble. It's 1% utility value and 99% bullshit, hype, future hopes, greed, um, and fake news. And when you have a market which is so crappy, basically, um, you will have a meltdown. And what you do in this meltdown is absolutely crucial. Because yes, on the way up, you can make a, a hell of a fortune, but most people then just give that fortune back to the market. And it's people like, like, like myself that end up hoovering up all of people's uh, profits that they're simply handing back to the market. Um, and so yeah, if you do this all correctly, you then have a nice cheesy um, <clears throat> positive equity growth. So that's the five M's of uh, realistic crypto trading. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get started.